I am here as a soldier who has temporarily left the field of battle in order to explain what civil war is like when civil war is waged by women. Ever since my girlhood, a period of about 30 years, I have belonged to organizations to secure for women that political power which I have felt was essential to bringing about those reforms which women need. We have tried to be womanly, we have tried to use feminine influence, and we have seen that it is of no use. We have presented larger petitions than were ever presented for any other reform. We have succeeded in holding greater public meetings than men have ever had for any reform. It always seems to me when the anti-suffrage members of the government criticize militancy in women that it is very like beasts of prey reproaching the gentler animals who turn in desperate resistance when at the point of death. It is our duty to make this world a better place for women than it is today. This is the only way we can get that power, which every citizen should have, of deciding how the taxes she contributes to should be spent, and how the laws she has to obey should be made. There is something that governments care far more for than human life, and that is the security of property. And so, it is through property that we shall strike the enemy. Be militant, each in your own way. Those of you who can express your militancy by going to the House of Commons and refusing to leave without satisfaction, as we did in the early days, do so. Those of you who can express militancy by facing party mobs at cabinet ministers' meetings when you remind them of their falseness to principle, do so. Those of you who can express your militancy by joining us in our anti-government by-election policy, do so. Those of you who can break windows, break them. Those of you who can still further attack the secret idol of property, so as to make the government realize that property is as greatly endangered by women's suffrage as it was by the Chartists of old, do so. And my last word is to the government. I incite this meeting to rebellion. We shall be here. We are here today. And we shall come here over and over again. We are here not because we are lawbreakers. We are here in our efforts to become lawmakers. Human life for us is sacred. But we say if any life is to be sacrificed, it shall be ours. We won't do it ourselves. But we will put the enemy in the position where they will have to choose between giving us freedom or giving us death.